Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So, for you Capricorn. Um, something comes out that you may immediately find suspicious having to do with your partner. And if this is not you, then it is them being suspicious of you, okay? Um, <clears throat> whatever this is, if this is you, whatever this is, it stings, okay? It's something that's really troubling you. Um, it's like you can't, you can't shake it. You don't have fact, though. Okay, I, I want to point that out. It's suspicion. So you've either seen or heard uh, something that has caused you to suspect your partner's faithfulness to you more than likely or loyalties to you. Um, so we have the moon up here and we must be careful in this energy because what you think think you see may not be true. Um, it could be an illusion. It could be uh, that somebody is seeing something uh, based on their fears. Whatever this is, it's still in the dark. Um, but you are suspicious or you're still in the dark about this. Now, we have the intellect here, and that's, you know, again, like both of these cards talk to fantasy and illusion, the plagues of the mind, what's, what you fear. Um, it's how you think, plan, and solve your problems. Um, you may be trying to understand something that you overheard or, or saw. Um, this could be the ability to reason something out um, to try to figure out what is true and what is false. On top of this, you have the eye. And so you may be being very watchful and watching your partner for uh, any signs of what you think they might be up to. Um, you may have a sense of foreboding because of something you believe is going on. You are seeking help for these plagues of the mind. You are seeking help for that which is troubling you, bothering you about your partner. Um, that is making you very worried with the noose here. Um, and and the imprisonment card right next to it. So you're really, really worried about something you believe is going on. Now, the noose can also uh, speak to feeling stuck. It can speak to uh, behaviors or thought patterns that hold you back um, and prevent you from doing what you want or from advancing, okay? Now, you also have another card here in this uh, deck that also speaks to being stuck. So there's something in your mind that you, I feel you are stuck on that is preventing uh, any forward movement here. Um, you may be uh, wondering what they're hiding because he hides things. You may be uh, wondering, uh, you may be seeing red flags where there are none really. Um, you can't really tell or know if they are actually doing something. It's all suspect, okay? The braid is about, it's like tying up uh, loose ends, and, and this is what you want, or you're, or you're trying to fit the pieces together. Um, maybe you've come up with a plan. This could be weaving a plan, uh, you know, to 
watch what they're doing to try to find out what they're what they're hiding or what you believe they're hiding so you're studying um, an idea or a plan I feel like when it comes to this situation, I feel like, um, first of all, it's not what you think, okay? You may think that you, uh, that you can't trust your person. You may feel like they're not being faithful to you, um, but you're not sure. You just suspect uh, these things and I feel like maybe you want to confront them with your suspicions but you don't really know how to do this um, you're not yeah that's it because you don't see how to transform this okay now you don't see a light at the end of this tunnel right now but there is a light or at the end of this pathway there is a light uh, this will transform. And I feel that <clears throat> you, you're very afraid of what you're going to learn. You're very afraid of uh, what your partner is hiding from you. But in fact, I don't feel they're hiding anything at all. I feel like there's something you may have saw if this is you, that you completely misunderstood. Because let's remember, this is about fantasies and illusions. How we think. Why we think that way. That's what you would need to find out, you or them, whoever this energy belongs to. Somebody here is bringing opportunity or brings in an opportunity to make up. So clearly there's been uh, some very intense feelings or intense energy, or there's been distance between you lately because of what you believe they're doing or, or, or what they're hiding from you. And I feel like this person wants to close that distance and make things better again. Um, I, f I do feel like there's been an, a misunderstanding and I feel like uh, this person is going to clear things up for you, okay? This person loves you and I don't feel that they have any bad intentions at all. So it's, it's, it's this um, kiss and makeup. This is the makeup card and they're going to reach for it. You know, they don't want to let this situation drag out anymore, okay? They want to get back to the way things were before. They want to restore the peace and harmony. And that's exactly what they're going to do. And, you know, you may not see it in the moment, but this person, it's like, it's like you're getting a wish or a gift here. Okay, so, but you may not see it in the moment, but you, it's like you're going to realize how lucky you are, really, to have this person in your life at a later point. Okay, you don't see it now, but you will. I feel like there's something, if this is, if this is you, or if this is the other person, okay, there's something in your lives, one of you, um, that has... Uh, that has created uh, a specific thought pattern. So something has happened to you uh, in your past that has made you very afraid to trust or to open up your heart to, to love and trust uh, again, okay? Um, this is causing all kinds of problems in your relationship. So you need to go back to the original source and um, you need to face whatever that was back back then. You need to face that ghost, okay, so that you can get rid of it, so that you can open up your heart to your person again. Um, so here we have this person, they're really thinking about you, and they really want to close this distance and heal this breach uh, between you. This person feels very passionate 
about you and they're coming in to try to fix things with you and you this i feel like this person is like a gift or maybe they bring you a gift but they're very very supportive um it's like they come to the rescue <laughs> you know basically they will put your uh your fears uh at ease but uh if you don't want those popping up in the future you must go back uh, to the source of where they began and face that ghost okay um so um that is what i have for you uh, you will see a reconciliation here okay there will be declarations of love and feelings and you are going to be very very happy but if you want that happiness to last you must deal with the ghosts of the past because they are what's causing a lot of trouble here okay so um and i feel like your person is they're they're going to help you through this process so this relationship is going to proceed all right, this is going to come to pass. There is going to be a reconciliation and declarations of love. Now, how long this happiness sticks around is going to be up to you. There's still work to be done. So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.